Hi crafty friends, it's Scrapping Sylvie. How's everyone doing tonight? Um, I figure we do a kidding up because I haven't done a kidding up in a hundred years. Uh, so I figure why not do uh, work on this one. Okay, so this one is a beautiful tiger with flowers all around. It's like he's hiding. He's hiding behind the flowers. And uh, this is a 30 by 40 centimeter. And uh, it is... Uh, I wrote it down by DIY Choose, okay, and it's called Tiger, and it's got 23 colors, and and it was four dollars and forty nine cents, okay. It's a beautiful painting. I'm actually so behind that um, when DIY Ch uh, Choose uh, sent me this one was four months ago. That's how behind I am, guys, because I've been working on the mini Serenity, and all I'm almost finished, guys. I'm so excited. I'm only I'm on my last last row, so okay. So first thing that I do is I grab my log book, okay? And I need a pen. So we're gonna write down, it's called Tiger. Um, the canvas size, which is everything all around, I believe is 30 by 40, let's make sure. That's the inches, we need the centimeters. Yep, 30, and I'm sure that's 40. Okay, 30 by 40 is the canvas. And now let's do the picture size. So let's move this out of the way. That's uh, almost, well, not really. It's like, uh, oh wait, that's anxious. Ay, ay, ay. Mamma mia, I tell you. Okay, so that's 25 by 35. So 25 by 35 centimeters, and it's round. Yep, it's a round drill. Okay, this was gifted. Well, let's say gifted. Let's say gifted. This is from DIY Shoes. And it was, what did I say, $4.49. And let's put down the date that we're starting this. So today is, let's see, October, October 27, 2022. Okay, and then you put down the date. I would say this is, it's not an advance, intermediate, um, Let's just say a beginner. Okay, uh, okay, that's it. Okay, let's put that aside. The pen away. So what I usually do is I remove the plastic. And then I use these uh, release papers that I bought uh, from Amazon 100 million years ago too. And the good thing about these guys, you don't have to constantly buy these because you could reuse them, okay, over and over and over. And this one, uh, you can use, it doesn't matter what size, but you have to be careful when you order them. So make sure that you order the right ones. Okay, so. Bye bye plastic. Some people like the plastic, I don't. Okay, so then I figure, okay, do I, should I do it this way or this way? I think I like it this way. So, oops, sticky. It is sticky. That's a good thing. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should put some, it's very sticky around the painting. So that's why the washi tape comes in handy. But I'm gonna leave it like that for now. See, you see how sticky that is? Oh, mama mia. Okay, so we're gonna do this all the way to the top. So this one's actually a little crooked, but that's okay. It will survive. There's another one here. So it looks like it's gonna be eight. Four in one row and then four in the other eight.
And don't cover this because you're going to need that. You're going to need the legend, guys. Okay, that's it. All right, has my release paper. And you could also decorate. I usually sometimes, not, all, not always, but sometimes I'll put stickers and just to decorate it. Okay, so for this one, I, since it's only 23, this one is much too small. And then the other one is too big as a 60. So we're going to use this one where I think it's 30. So it's just perfect. See? Okay, so we don't, we don't need that for now. And these are the drills. Put this over here. I don't know if you can see. It already has numbers. Let's open the drills. The good thing about these, uh, these are already in uh, individual bags, which is nice. And it looks like they're in order, so let's just turn them this way. Let's see. Yep, one, two. One, two, book match, shoe. Okay, so they found out. Okay, sometimes I get silly, guys. You have to, you know? Okay. Just loop to there for now. All right, and then I'm just gonna use any tray just in case. This is a Bella Art de Nicole, I believe. I picked this one because it sort of matches the uh, tiger, the colors. Okay, and then number one, and this is number one. Okay, and then, like I said, there's 23 colors. So let's see what's been going on, guys. There's a lot been going on. I had to actually sit down and try to remember because I started writing stuff uh, like a diary on a, in a notebook, but of course I did not continue doing it because I forget everything. And of course I dropped some drills. That's why you need a little tray or a big tray underneath. You see, perfect. Okay, so we have number one. Number two. Again, these you could you can keep or you can throw away. So that's up to you. I don't need them. Okay. So what's been going on? Okay. So let's see. Like two weekends ago, um, the Texas State Fair opened up, and I was super surprised that my daughter said, "Hey, do you guys want to go to the uh, the Texas State Fair?" And I'm like, "Of course, if you, if you want to go." So the three of us went together, my husband, my daughter, and myself. And I believe we went on a Saturday because she had that Saturday off. But we decided to go in, in the evening because she wanted to see the rodeo. And the rodeo, I believe, was in the evening. So, so that was a lot of fun. But um, it had been a long time since we had gone to, the, to our last Texas State Fair. And it was packed, guys. I mean, the place was... There's so many people. And uh, of course, you know, it was like we were getting hungry. So we decided to get something for uh, for dinner. And you know how everything in the Texas State Fair is yummy and healthy. <laughs> Super healthy. But anyway, but we were having fun, you know. What the heck. So my daughter, of course, she, she loves those huge turkey legs. So she had one of those. And then my husband and I decided to have... And when I tell you guys, I kept calling it a hot dog. I, it looked like a freaking big, giant hot dog on a bun. And my daughter kept saying, Mommy, it's not a hot dog, it's a sausage. I'm like, but it looks like a hot dog, but just super, super, super huge. So, oh, we're getting a little static here. See how they're sticking to my hand? Um, which is not good. They don't like that. And... Um, so yeah, so we both had the huge hot dog and then we went to see the rodeo. But then after we came out of the rodeo, we were like, okay, now it's time for dessert. And so they decided that they wanted to get try the fried Oreos, fried Oreo cookies, guys, fried Oreos, yeah. And <clears throat> they were yummy. I didn't, I didn't, I decided not to have any. Because, you know, my stomach is sensitive and uh, I was just afraid that I would get a bellyache. But they ate the my husband and my daughter and they were, oh my God, they loved it. And we took pictures 
and it was just wonderful to spend together you know us together so what else guys and then during the week my daughter had off from work on a wednesday and she said hey mom there's a leftover there she said mom um i need some clothes i need to go shopping because she needs uh, work clothes and i'm like okay well come on over and it was early so we had breakfast first we went out and we had breakfast and then there goes the phone sorry about the phone uh, we have a home line because of my mom and my brother is so sweet that he calls my mom every every night at this time to check on her and say good night he's a wonderful son anyway so um i can i don't know if you can hear the in the background he said mommy pick up the phone anyway so uh where was i where was i yeah so she said you know so we went for breakfast and then we had lunch and it was just and then after that we rested a little bit and then it was getting a little late and she's like okay mommy i think we need to go shopping i'm like well let's go let's go let's go do it and we did and um she was very lucky she got a couple of uh pants you know dress pants or slacks whatever you want to call them and then she got some blouses or shirts whatever you want to call them and um and i think did she get a pair of shoes i think actually she got two pair of shoes work work shoes and uh so it was just perfect we had a wonderful time every time I, I spend the whole day with my daughter it's like i'm the happiest happiest person <laughs> alive um and all the moms can relate to that i mean we love our children but anyway okay so and then what's what else happened um uh oh what did i do then after that on thursday i took my mom to her appointment so this is the second time actually the first time this is a new doctor because her other doctor moved uh she went back to england she was english and um <clears throat> So, of course, we needed a new doctor. And it was between two doctors. It was either one that had very good credentials and experience versus one that was new, a female. And uh, so she didn't have too much experience. So my, my, I was going to pick her because I said, well, you know how it is. If you pick someone that's new, they have energy and they do things right. You know, they're motivated. But my husband's like, oh, you should pick the, the, the guy because, you know, he has more credentials, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we picked him. Well, six months ago, my I wasn't able to take my mom, so my sister went with her, and everything was fine. I said, how did you like the new doctor? And she was like, yeah, he was okay. All right, so then I took my mom, and this is the second time. Okay, so you would think by the second time, he would know information about my mom. All right. All righty, so he comes in, says hello, goes straight to the computer, and uh, starts looking at my mom's things and he's like okay so it looks like your mom is doing good and everything and I'm like okay that's good that's great but I went there to tell him that I wanted my mom off she takes Pravastatin for her cholesterol and I wanted her off of that because she's been on it for a long time and um, but even before I mentioned that he says my mother's cholesterol is a little high it's high actually and so of course I was going to talk about the satin. So he's like, okay, so your mother's taking 20 milligrams. Uh, let's raise it to 40. I'm like, whoa. I said, wait a minute. I said, um, um, what did I say? Oh my gosh, I forget everything, guys. I said, uh, I really wanted my mom off the satins because, you know, I hear they're not very good for you. Um, and so then he basically doesn't even look at me and just looks at the computer and he says uh, under his breath, well, you know, that I can hear him. He said, uh, oh, those are just myths. And I said, excuse me? And he goes, those are myths. It's not true. I'm like, uh, uh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think they're myths because there've been lots of studies where they say that they're not good for you. I'd rather that my mother, if she has a little bit of her cholesterol is high, well, let's make sure that she gets on a little, well, because she's been eating a lot of peanut butter, a lot of cookies, a lot of things that she's not supposed to mayo. And so let's see, let's, let's try that. And then if we need to raise it or, you know, we'll take it from there. But it was immediate. Let's go to 40. So anyway, so I guess he didn't like the way, you know, 
I basically said that, you know, I, I don't like the satins, blah, blah, blah. Okay, which one I'm doing? 11. So he says to me, well, okay, so why don't we do this? Why don't we raise it to 40 for three months? And uh, actually, no, he said for six months, and then I'll see her back in six months. And then we'll see how they are, and then we'll bring it down again to 20. And I'm like, no, why don't we do this? I said, why don't we... You give her the 40 milligrams now and then see her in three months and i'm going to put you know make sure that she doesn't eat too much peanut butter and, and mayo and butter and all that stuff and cookies and chocolate um and let's try that out and then you know do her blood work in three months to see if it if improved he stays quiet it's like you could hear crickets in the room right so then he says okay we could do that um and he goes, you know, the good thing is that, you know, since your mother doesn't have heart disease, and that's when my jaw fell to the ground. Okay, I'm like, uh, excuse me? I said, doctor, my mother had, my mother has heart disease. It runs in the family. She had a mild heart attack when she lived in Connecticut many, many years ago, and she has a stent in her, in her heart. And he, and he was like, okay, again, you can hear crickets. So to me, it tells me that he didn't read up my mom's record. So, you know what? I just been thinking about it and spoke to my friends about it. And they were like, Sylvia, you need to change your mother, uh, her doctor. So that's what I need to do. I need to call and I'm going to see if she can see that female doctor, if she's still available. Um, yeah, because I don't know. I think he shouldn't, he should have known that my mother has heart disease. Don't you think? I don't know. Am I wrong? So, you know anyway that's what happened but everything else thank god she's healthy physically you know he made her walk and and she oh she oh he also referred her to her nose ear throat doctor so she's got to go see that but anyway yeah okay for actually did i do something wrong Ooh, ooh. that's 15 where's i oh, see this is what happens when i talk huh? am i missing 14 guys oh there goes 14 Oof, that was scary Okay, and what else? Oh, and then I went to that um, Christmas bazaar. It was so much fun. It was in the uh, nearby uh, scrap scrapbooking store that I've mentioned in the past. And it was so nice, guys, because they were there Friday and Saturday, and they had lots of tables. And all the in each table, there was a a lady uh, selling stuff that they make, you know, and um, it was just so nice and everybody was so friendly and it's nice to help out you know so i got my mom that cross that she loves i already gave it to her i couldn't wait for christmas guys sorry okay, this is 15. and uh so it's just i mean i'm always amazed how talented uh these women were because i mean all of them they made something and they were it, everything was different Okay, 16, 16. And then what else? Oh, then I also went to a Halloween store. I forget what it's called. You know, the huge Halloween store. I went there with my daughter because she loves Halloween. And uh, so she ended up buying a, like a scary Skeletor for her door, for her front door. And uh, a couple of little Halloween stuff. So she's got to buy some candy because she says there's some people next door that have children so she's got to buy some Halloween candy okay Ooh, almost finished guys and but which reminds me I've got to buy Halloween candy yep I have not done that yet so that's 18 19 and 20 okay and this is 17 uh oh I had my flu shot everybody in the house has gotten their flu shot I voted the other day so um what else? Which I keep telling my daughter that she's got to go ahead and get her a flu shot. And uh, and her booster. She hasn't done that yet. She's so busy at work. Such a stressful job. And, uh, oh, and then my, of course, Olivia. You know, Olivia goes to school. So last Friday, Olivia was supposed to go away for the weekend. For the Girl Scout. With the Girl Scouts. And she wasn't able to because she came home with a fever. And it so happens that she has the flu and then mommy got her the flu my sister got the flu so they both were home and with the flu not feeling well 
And then, I don't know if I have mentioned in the past that um, I keep getting this, I figure what it's called. Oh God, it's like a bump on top of my eyelid. And it's basically oils that are trapped underneath your eyes, like your eyelashes. So every day I have to wash my eyes with baby shampoo and, and, and do hot compresses. But it hasn't been working, guys. It's just, it goes down, it goes up, it goes up, it goes down. So I finally made an appointment, which is tomorrow with a eye specialist. It's a consultation to see if he can do, if he can help me because I don't know. It's not very pleasant. It hurts. It rubs my eye. Um, yeah. Okay, we're almost finished here, guys. So I'm going to try to work on this one. So this is 21. Am I missing one? Oh, 22 and 23. Okay. So three more to go. Almost finished here, guys. So I'm going to try to see if, uh, try to finish the mini Serenity and then work on this one on the side. I always like to work on a small one on the side. And, uh, and then I'm going to work on a big one. I just need to pick one. So I want to go back. You know how I've been doing unboxings and because I'm so behind, I'll look to see which one is the last uh, the <laughs> four, four months ago, which big one, um, uh, probably from Diamond Art Club or some other company, which one I have not done. So I'll probably work on that. And I'm not sure, but I think, I think it was either a Halloween or a Christmas or um, Artemisa. And that's the one that um, my friend Rachel got me. Come on, come down. So I'll have to check. Because I tell you what, guys, after working on Mini Serenity and it's a square, I'm blind. I can't see. I am completely blind. All my hair has fallen off. <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping, I don't even know if that Artemisa, because I can't remember, but I don't remember if it's a square or if it's a round. To me, rounds are so much easier. But then again, from that, that one that I'm doing, mini, uh, mini Serenity from Heaven and Earth Designs, oh, I don't know. To me, everything seems so small, the beads. Yeah. So finito. I did it, guys. You see? So now what I do is I just go downstairs. I watch some TV. So I'm with my husband downstairs. And I'll start working on this one and I will start using, look at this, my uh, Halloween pen. So I just ordered another one. I just ordered the uh, Christmas one. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty, pretty cool. Well, anyway, so that's about it, guys. So I hope, thank you for joining me, for listening to my shenanigans. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take it easy. Be safe. Bye-bye.